Ayan. Hello, everyone. No, before I proceed, I would like to and this no. If you hear me fine and also clear po yung presentation, kindly type in number one sa ating chat box. Okay. Type in number one if you hear me. Malinaw siya and also the presentation is also nakikita niyo sa screen. Okay. Type in number one. And thank you very much to our attendees. No, uh, medyo maaga tayo nag-start. Around siguro mga 1 minute before 6 p.m. Anyways, if you have friends over, family, no, who are interested in this kind of webinar and also investments, feel free to invite them. Hindi po po tayo nag-start sa ating um, exciting part of this webinar. Anyways, thank you very much to the Edmond. We also have Emman, Meridin. Later, no, we'll get to engage with our attendees. So it's a Thursday evening you no know, filled with excitement and also we are back with fun smart learning series that we usually do you no know, at the same time where we feature our fun smart partner to get up close with them. So it's always a good um session with them if about their funds and also different perspective in terms of anything. All right. So as a host, no, before I introduce myself, quick background of mine, I'm just a regular person who has been around different jobs in financial institutions before I worked in First Metro Securities. But believe it or not, no, I've also felt highs and also lows of a working life. For example, um, sudden job loss, I think one of the darkest moments of a, being a working person. So every side hustle i've come to realize how important it is to make every piece so count so like many of us i'm doing my best to save and also invest for the future but sometimes the reality hits no may mga moments tayo na sometimes na delay tayo in terms of our responsibilities our bills or even um invest or where to put your hard earned money so those failures no and slip-ups in life made me learn more and also be better in the future, okay? So those experiences led me to become a part of First Metro Securities so the, with values, personal finance, and also investment literacy. At the same time, as a host, I am the Business Development Associate for Mindanao Des and offers Metro Securities, the stock house of metro bank group so i think the members of business development and market education team if you are able to attend from our past webinars medyo nakikilala niyo na yung mga um, people from we get to inspire people to upgrade their money money management skills at the same time create awareness of investment opportunities that are syempre no remember that are legitimate affordable and accessible so it's my honor and pleasure to serve you today, no? All right. So this is a webinar session. Anyways, if you do have face-to-face -face sessions with our FunSmart partner, be sure to check out our announcements as well, okay? Ayan, for a quick data lang, maybe some of you have already uh, saw this one, no? This is a data on stock market investor. So with Philippines over 100, in population, around 1.7 million lang yung my stock market accounts. Out of that, mga 1.2 is yung my online accounts. So in terms of uh, medyo maraming population of stock market investors, nasa uh, Metro Manila, it's around 81.5%, 75.3% are locally employed. So if you are located sa Metro Manila, it's around 10. Uh, percent we also have visayas 3.7 percent here in mindanao it's around five percent so it's much lower no compared to the population been gaining interest from our overseas filipino workers yung mga nasa abroad natin ng filipinos and yung mga younger ones natin yung mga sujete okay but our attendees tonight no let me ask if meron na po ba kayong investment account or uh, stock trading account, can you type in yes sa ating chat box? If you have any investment account or stock trading account. Okay, let me just pull up my chat box. Ayan, most of you answered first Metro Securities. We have Elaine, Monique, Andrea. I think, yes, meron pa tayong isa ng um, 
account for no pressure po this will be um a good opportunity for you to get to know more about investments and also find smart partner as well okay keep it coming now thank you very much and these no anyways if you have thoughts and also comments at the presentation feel free to mga chats na ganito okay Ayan. So quickly sharing lang more about market education. We've been uh, collaborating and also invited by private, public, and academic institutions as well. For example, we have Jollibee. For our overseas Filipino workers naman, we partnered with Filipino Times. We also have sessions with Philippine Stock Exchange. For government naman, um, sample would be uh, the Bureau of Fire Protection. We also have DepEd for those newly hired teachers. And at the same time, we'll also improve the overall webinar experience by gamifying some of our sessions. No, for example, game night. So be sure to um attend those because Marin usually mga prizes, investment credits, vouchers, and merchandise. Okay. Some of our public webinars as well. No, we we've done around sigur, mga four webinars na this January for public. So be sure to check out yung mga remaining webinars natin this January. Okay? I brings up to our special webinar tonight entitled 2024 New Year's Resolution for Investors with Manulife Investment Management. You are probably excited though for those energy that we've been coming from the chat box. If you have questions regarding the presentation, uh, feel free to ask na lang po sa ating live Q&A later or you can put sa ating Q&A button sa Zoom panel, okay? And we'll try to answer them later. So to start off, no, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker. He is the head of Wealth Sales. Please welcome Mr. Zedric Matubis. Hi, Sir Zed. Uh, maybe you could uh, greet our attendees before po tayo magsimula. Sir Zed? Hi. Uh, hi, everyone. Good uh, good evening and thank you for spending your time uh, with us and Happy New Year. Thank you, Sir Zed. So, he is our speaker. No? So, if you have questions, wag po kayong mahiya to ask our speaker later. So, I think our speaker will tell us more about uh, how to invest your hard-earned money, uh, maybe assess your current investment portfolio, and how you can be a better investor in 2024. So let me ask our attendees, are you ready? No, So can you type in ready sa ating chat box so that we can start on the same page na, no? Okay, ready sa ating chat box. Yan. Okay, we also have Jofani. Medyo maraming attendees natin, no? Um, actually, goal ko every webinar is to actually um interact with one of the attendees as well. All right. Thank you, everyone. So, let's start na, no? Okay. So, for this one, kasi um, we'll be having this session with Manulife. So, this will be a perfect um topic for those who want to step up their um handling finances in 2024. All right. Sir Zed, since we are in the first month, January, and gusto natin to start the year, right? Especially in handling finances, as an investor, what would be some resolutions that our attendees can for 2024? So a great question. So like you said, it's uh, the start of the year. Usually we try to come up with resolutions no, on our health, you know, like like losing weight or or eating less or ex or exercising more but as an investor obviously you can also do resolutions to help you you know achieve your financial goals become uh you know more healthy in the sense of financial uh, health uh so here are my recommendations so um you you uh the audience can can copy them uh um and and some are complicated we will need more explanations later but some of them are quite simple so let's start off uh with the first one. So the first one is very simple. So I recommend everyone to set financial goals. No, so it can be something as simple as uh, I'm going to target to invest uh, X uh, thousands of pesos this year. ganon. It can be something as simple as also as saying like uh, I'm targeting to uh, set aside uh, ten thousand or oh, five thousand pesos a month or one thousand pesos a month and make sure that I don't spend it. Uh, and put it somewhere, no. Uh, and and use uh, FMSEX platform to to do that, no. 
Um, it can be those. Uh, it can be uh, those um, types of goals. Ang important is you make it something aspirational. Wag naman masadong madale, no. Uh, at the same time, wag din masadong mahirap. Um, kasi baka naman hindi mo rin ma-achieve, no. Simple, you know, s- uh, similar to you know, uh, setting up um a, a resolution for for um you know for exercising. It's if it's gonna be too easy or it's going to be too hard, hindi rin masyado maganda. So it's something aspirational, something that will stretch you, but something that's but at least something that is also achievable. So it's up to you, kung ano man yun, it can be very simple, it can be complicated depending on who on on what you want. Ang importante meron kang specific goal that you're trying to achieve because that will set the tone for your discipline for the whole year, no? Uh second naman is um I think it's something very specific is try to pay down your debt already no so for example if you are the type of person na mayroong outstanding credit card debt for example na na partial payment ka lang or or yung minimum payment lang ginagawa mo for the past few years that puts a strain on your financial goals because you you end up paying um interest right uh, we all know there's a fina- it called finance charge no and unfortunately that's a very big strain to your um to your uh financial situation because it's relatively big no that's around 3% depending on uh, per month pa no depending on the company on the credit card company so it can be something that you know you you discipline yourself you try you 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 uh you try to um find ways this year to either spend less or what does or at the same time find ways to pay pay off more of your debt so para lumit siya ng lumit and hopefully by the end of the year baka zero na yung debt mo no? so um, uh, it will really help you achieve your goals it it can be as simple as that no? pay, let's say I target to pay 50% of my credit card debt by the end of the year or even more than that that's something that you can you should do third is uh, diversify no? so it's something very simple something that can really help you kasi um uh right now you might be only invested in a certain stock or in a certain asset class um uh, and we all know that you know based on the the past years it's really hard to predict which stock or which which fund or which asset class will do well and you might have lost some money there so so diversification is very important because you do not know which one are the winners or the losers so it's important to spread your investments around um so please have that as part of your uh, resolutions this year diversify more no and in relation to that i think the the fourth resolution my, that i recommend is to explore emerging investment trends no there are many investment trends out there na you might not be considering or you might not be even thinking about this time no things like um you know um uh investing for example in offshore REITs or investing in technology because it's something that is very very popular right now or maybe uh finding a way uh to invest in income paying strategies uh baka hindi mo pa naiisip yun no meron pa lang mga funds there that pays out something monthly uh and you can use that no uh or even ideas like um, is there a way for me to invest but at the same time feel good about what I'm doing to the environment? Meron ba dyang fund na, uh, na um, concerned about the environment or something that can help me the, can, uh, that, that can uh, help me help the planet? No? Meron bang ganong fund na ganun? So these are trends that are already well accepted globally pero as a Filipino investor baka hindi pa natin siya naiisip. No? So try to think about these things. No? And then fifth, um, think long term uh try to avoid the pitfalls of you know may counting volatility lang natatakot ka na kaagad you you withdraw or you surrender or you sell kaagad your securities uh, at a loss and then magugulat ka na lang makaka-recover naman so manghihinayang ka so by by thinking short term or by being um uh, uh having that uh, uh by being too too scared when there's some volatility lalo pa tuloy hindi mo na achieve yung financial goals mo no so try to think long term try to you know stick to your your objective i mean like for example you might your objective might be preparing preparing for the, your retirement you're not gonna retire in 10 years or in 15 years lalo, i'm sure most of our audience here are 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 young no so 
then you shouldn't be worry you, you shouldn't worry too much about volatility no so think about long term kasi hindi mo pa naman kailangan yung pera di ba uh, matagal mo pa naman sa kailangan have some patience no sixth is automate your investments no um sometimes you are too busy with your life with your hobbies with your job with your business you with your side hustle pa kung meron ka pang side hustle um nakakalimutan mo mag-invest no even even if na set mo yung financial goal mo na i'm going to invest 2000 pesos a month pero dahil hindi mo siya na automate makakalimutan mo siya and, and then by the by the pagdating ng december na, na realize mo di pala ako nakapagdagdag na sa investments ko dahil i was too busy or or even worse because you were not investing automatically minsan natatempt ka nagagastos pa siya because biglang nagkaroon ng sale uh, sa isang mall ganyan so um it, it, It's something that you should address uh, by automating your investments, and and we know that FMSEC has that ability to help you in this in this space. No, so wag nating kakalimutan yon. And seven uh, is um is uh, improve your financial literacy. Uh, important na you like like joining webinars like this. No, so this is some something that uh, I'm very happy partnering with FMSEC with no because this is something that is very important close to the hearts of everyone uh with with uh, in FMSEC no so i encourage you to take advantage of their webinars uh, kahit hindi kami yung participant umattend kayo uh, um uh learn more information like you know um take advantage of whatever FMSEC uh, puts out there as information like charts uh, research materials Uh, the platform has many information there like performance metrics tingnan niyo po para malaman niyo sino yung best performing fund uh, sino yung uh, ano yung mga fa- fund descriptions learn more about what the fund is about no before investing so this is very important because knowledge is very uh, powerful in terms of uh, meeting your financial goals so try to ha- spend more time with improving your financial literacy no no more about you know about inflation about interest rates about the markets about the funds available to you and then my last new resolution recommendation is start now no so there will be many excuses uh, uh, uh that you will you know will that you will be tempted to think no like uh, uh masyado pang maliit yung pera ko uh, hindi mo na ako mag-invest or or ang bata ko pa naman bakit ba ako nag-iisip na about retirement? Mag ano muna ako, mag-enjoy muna ako, 'di ba? Uh, YOLO muna, 'di ba? So all of these things can pre- all of these things can prevent you from starting now. But my recommendation is, you know, uh, study quickly, you know, make that decision, mag-invest na ba talaga ako and then invest ka agad, you know. Uh, start now um because uh it's it's uh, time is very important no uh, the more you delay the less amount the less uh, time you have to to invest and it can really you know uh boil down to a big difference uh, in your uh, financial goals if you keep on delaying your investment decision no your decision so at the very least invest now ka god um when you have when you with when you have the the information that you need no but please do not delay and delay or find excuses not to. So, those are my eight recommendations uh, for this new year's resolution. So, yeah, so thank you very much so, for for thinking about that. So, um uh but we have I know we have more we have time to discuss some of these ideas. So, back to you Tara. Thank you Sir Z. No, I think um uh, two to three points from the resolutions that I think I'd like to include sa the 2024 no. So for our attendees, you can chat sa ating chat box no. Na do you think na magiging part sa inyong resolution? So for this one, we have eight um eight resolutions from Sir Z no. Okay? On to the next no. Sir Z one of the popular questions and maybe quotes na usually na raised with investments is Don't put your eggs in one basket. So, bakit kaya siya nagiging popular? So, the word diversification, Sir Z, why is it this is an important part of investing? Yeah, so that's a great question. In fact, that was my num- that was my number three uh resolution not to, to to diversify more. So, um um diversification is very very important. No, uh, uh in fact, uh, it has been proven to work. No, there there is even a Nobel Prize awarded to uh. Uh, the person who uh, who thought about who who put math into the idea of diversification. So he called it the modern portfolio theory. It's basically an explanation on why the diversification works. No, so he, he got he won the this person uh, won the Nobel Prize. Um, uh, 
in in the early 90s no so it really works so diversi- diversification really works but like you said it's simply not putting all your your eggs in one basket so on the on the next slide i'd like to show you uh, one picture on why it works no so or why it it it, it is needed no so this is a very colorful chart i'm sure some of us, some of you have seen this before in in some of our earlier webinars no uh, but I really like this uh, this chart because and and dami ng pictures and dami ng colors no so they joke lang but um it's quite easy kasi to interpret the chart no so right to left is years no and then uh, uh down to up is whether you're the worst performer or the best performer and then the color is the asset class no so you see here that there is no one single color dominating the top row or even the second row. Diba? And 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 even the last row, walang nagdo-dominate ng last row. So in other words, different. It's really hard to see, select a single asset class or fund or even stock that will be a winner every year. No, it's next to impossible to do that. So if you invest in only one stock or in one asset class, you're basically putting all of your fortunes in one asset class that you don't know if it's gonna be a consistent a consistent performer. So um and and and. It co- this chart covers all asset classes in the world, no U.S. stocks, U.S. bonds, China stocks, Asia Pacific stocks, uh, emerging market bonds, European stocks. So, walang nagdo-dominate talaga. So, i- i- imagine if you're just investing in one stock or two stocks or even just three stocks in the Philippines, you're you're betting all of your financial future on those companies. Eh, it's that's gonna be very hard, no. And I'm sure the past two or three years you ex- we've experienced as investors the challenge of just investing in one country if you're particularly if you're just investing in the philippines no uh high inflation high interest and envi- rate environment and, and 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 we were struggling no so this is the this is the value of you know investing that's why we need to diversify more kasi nga mahirap talagang ma-determine yung clear winner every year no if there's really a clear winner in fact there is none no every year so on the next slide makikita natin dito yung yung isa ko rin gustong sabihin na it's that diversification is not just simply putting your eggs in the, in different baskets no it's more than that it's also making sure that those baskets don't behave the same way because even if you have three or four baskets if they behave very similarly to each other sabay-sabay sila bumabagsak sabay-sabay sila tumataas you are also not diversified you are you know um uh it's fake diversification no so here's an example no so there's always that myth na I'm sure marami nagsasabi sa inyo, naka-invest ka sa stocks at sa bonds, okay ka na, diversified ka na. But here is an example for the last three years, a typical Philippine bond fund and a typical Philippine equity fund. Um, um, of the, Yung green yung equity fund, yung blue yung, o baliktad, yung green yung bond fund and then yung blue yung equity fund. No? And this is the, the, perfo- the price chart no? of um, these two funds that supposedly diversified ka if you invest there. For the last two years, not from uh, after the pandemic, no. So what what can you see? Um, it, it's quite it's quite uh, blatant that uh they move the same way, no. You were not actually diversified because when one was falling, the other one was falling also. When one was rising, siguro good news. Uh, inflation nag announce si BSP maganda yung inflation numbers, so the Philippine equities move up, but Philippine bonds also moved up, no. Tapos bad news. Uh, inflation is high, no? Mataas masyado ng presyo ng bilihin. The Philippine equities market went down, people panic, no? People sold down, ano? Bagsak yung yung investment mo. Pero yung investment mo sa bonds, bumagsak din, no? So, that is the challenge uh, with diversification. It is not just putting your eggs in different baskets. You should make sure that those baskets behave differently. And there, in fact, there is a technical term for that and that's called correlation, no? So, you have to find um, asset classes that are not highly correlated to each other. So the challenge with investing in the just in one country alone is is because it's the size. No? So if you look at the next slide, so um you can see here just a graphical you know um uh, uh view of the sizes of certain things. No, so it's not it's not to scale. No, so the the green dot there at the left side is the size of the Philippine economy, $390 billion as represented by the GDP. So GDP is the best um, you know, um, measure of a, of a size of a country's economy. No? But you know, one fund manager, which is Manulife, us, 
we're, do- we're double the size of the Philippine economy already. That's $700 billion already. Ganun kaliit yung size ng Philippine economy. One fund manager dwarfs it. It's, it's size, no? If you look at the ASEAN uh, GDP, obviously, the Philippines is part of ASEAN, so you would expect it, it's going to be bigger, but it's so much bigger. It's $4 trillion. No? There are many more industry sectors, companies there no? in, in ASEAN alone. No? Just looking at ASEAN, we're not even, you know, we're just 10% of, uh, of, of, of the GDP. No? And we're, you know, uh, that's just ASEAN. But if you look at U, the U.S., it's way, way ahead, US $23 trillion, and then just looking at the world, $100 trillion. No? So it might be a challenge to get diversification benefits just from a small account economy. So our recommendation is when we say diversify, not just look at the Philippines, but look elsewhere, abroad, US, global, ASEAN, Asia. Um, and FMSEC has the ability to help you there. No, They will have uh, strategies that you can tap which are not in the Philippines. So hopefully... That answers the question on why diversification is important and also in part how you know you can diversify. Thank you, Sir Zed. I think from the discussion, no, you mentioned explore emerging investment trends. No? So maybe more on that, sir. Can you give us an example, maybe? Yep. Great. So this is quite related to the previous question, which is diversification, because this is one way you can diversify is by exploring emerging investment trends that you may not be aware of. So let's start off let's let me give you some examples. So let's start off with offshore REITs no. So I'm sure as Filipinos you're quite, we're, you're quite familiar with REITs already because it it was launched I think um 2019 or 2018 in the Philippines. I'm not sure exactly sure and FMSEC obviously gives you that ability to buy REIT stocks uh in on their platform, Philippine REIT stocks no. So um an idea that I'd like you to explore is offshore REITs no. Um we're excited about REITs now uh, because we know that um with the Fed with the US Fed um it, uh at or nearing the end of its tightening cycle, therefore they're gonna cut rates soon. REITs usually benefit there, no? Um, because anytime rates are cut or interest rates go down, REITs become popular because they have uh the ability to pay out dividends. Because as you are as you are all aware, REITs actually get rental income from the properties that they own and then they um, share this rental income to the REIT owners via dividends. No? So try and explore your offshore REITs no? because offshore REITs give you that ability to be more diversified uh, with other real estate properties outside the Philippines. No? So um, so let's look up, for example, at these four REITs. No? These are just examples. So Capital Land Ascendus REIT is Singapore's largest business space and industrial real estate investment trust. No? They have more than 200 plus properties in Singapore, Australia, US, UK, and Europe. Imagine earning a share of the rental income that they uh, receive. No? So ang maganda dito sa Capital Land Ascendus REIT is they, they own... Um, warehouses and data centers no so this is something new no because ngayon lang ngayon lang nag-improve yung e-commerce at ngayon lang na naging popular yung yung ba, large data centers na kailangan ng mga corporations because of the heavy IT infrastructure that companies now need no so these companies pay rental to these warehouses and and and, and data centers and Capital Land owns these warehouses, get the rental income, and then give it out as dividends to the to the REIT owners, no, um, or REIT shareholders. Second REIT uh, that I'd like you to look at will be Link REIT. It's the biggest in Asia, uh, the biggest REIT in Asia. Hundred fifty, they own hundred fifty four fifty four buildings, combination of malls, offices, uh, and other um uh, commercial properties. And they the value of these buildings is around. Uh, 238 billion Hong Kong dollars or around. This is close to 30, 30 billion US dollars. No? So really, you know, bigger opportunity for you to have more exposure from tenants, no? more, more tenants. No? So Prologis is, an, is, a, is the largest industrial real estate company in the world. No, In the world, no, no? they own more than 5,000 buildings, have more than 1.2 billion square feet in rentable or leasable area. In nineties, in nineteen countries, no, so talagang diversified ka, no, um, because of this build. And then imagine you are you earn rent, uh, or you or you get a share of the rent from the from the buildings that these guys own. And then Simon Property Holdings is the largest owner of shopping malls in the U.S. So worldwide, it owns interest in two hundred thirty two properties. So imagine, let's look at the next slide, but specifically to Simon. Imagine. Owning a share of this building. This building is called the Shops at Crystals in Las Vegas. No, 
you know, can you imagine saying to your friends, hey, I own, I am a part owner of a mall in Las Vegas. Sabi mo sa kaibigan mo yun, magugulat siya, di ba? But you can actually do it, no? Through FMSEC, no? How? By investing in a fund that invests in this, no? So this, this um mall is uh, owned and operated by Simon Property, uh, the one I mentioned in the last slide. It's This mall alone is 18 million square feet in leasable area. Uh, 8.5 billion is the value of the building. And then this building has these key tenants, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Versace, Gucci, and Giorgio Armani. So I hate this deck, this slide, no? kasi ang hirap ipronounce ng mga words dito. But this is a, this is a specific specific building that earns rental income from these guys and these guys they will pay rent no this is in las vegas uh you know the biggest casino area in the world so rich people go there they might shop there look for sales look for look for value no uh and these these guys will pay rent and imagine earning that you know that a share of the rental income that this REIT will earn no obviously walang gato sa pilipinas no uh if you buy a philippine REIT it you won't have you know access to these to these types of uh, buildings no so this is uh, a trend that we uh, uh, that we'd like you to consider so on the next slide you will see here ito yung sinabi ko kanina na income paying strategy na you might want to consider so um the REITs that i mentioned are uh, earlier are are where these funds invest no so you have uh, for example the the asian REITs that i mentioned uh, earlier they paid out 4.22% net in income alone no uh, um, last year, and then the global REIT, the one that owns the US malls, 4.41 naman. And then you get this income monthly already, you know, at least for uh, five of our, uh, four of our funds, no, uh, of the five funds. No? So marami pang strategy, you have, you have a preferred strategy, you have a multi-asset strategy. So our preferred security strategy gave out 6.24% net in income monthly last year. No? Total siya, nung, nung first Six months hindi hindi pa siya monthly, uh, semi annual pa siya, but we we converted this to monthly already. So our customer for the whole year of 2023 earned six point twenty four net for the global preferred income, and then five point sixty two net from the global multi asset. And this is just the income received, no, uh, from the payout. The fund itself will will have the capability to earn new capital gains, no. So yung pinapakita pa lang natin dito was what was earned from the in, the income uh, paid out no so ito yung mga tingnan natin ng mga strategies then no that that we were were you know by exploring more trends this is something that you can consider uh an, another trend that that I'd like you to also consider it's, it's also getting popular is the excitement over technology stocks no uh, or 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 the technology story or because of ai so on the next slide you'll see why technology has become so popular in 2023 no so the big so ai is something that you know it's not new no in fact we have talked about artificial artificial intelligence for decades already however it became in it came into the forefront of investors in 2023 because of a spectacular app called chat gpt so chat gpt um rocked you know the investment world when you know, it got one. It did net. It did. It did what Netflix did in three and a half years, no, which is to get one million, uh, customers, no. So it did it in five days, no. Uh, and why? Because it's very useful. It's very powerful. I'm sure most of you have used it. Uh, you know, one way or another, or if not you, your kids, no. Um, di nila sa inyo yung assignment nila ginagawa ni ChatGPT. Uh, but it's very powerful. And in and, and um and the excitement over. Uh, this artificial intelligence trend, uh, your large uh, language models, yung yung um the uh, and other applications, no, uh, general AI and all of this stuff, no, um has put a lot of excitement on the stock market. So on the next slide, you will see here, for example, companies like Nvidia, uh, the number one manufacturer of graphics processing units or GPU. So popular to sa mga gamers, so mga gamers na na mahilig maglaro ng mga uh, laptop or PC games here, you know what, who, what NVIDIA is, no? Because it's the expensive part of your laptop or your PC that makes you have fun, no? Because they're, they're, uh, they have the ability to create great uh, gaming experience because of the graphics that they produce. However, because GPUs are so strong or so powerful, it's also being used by AI a lot, no? Because AI demands a lot of computing power. So NVIDIA, because of the because of its potential revenue um, boost coming from, from the demand of AI, 
actually tripled its stock price in 2023 no more than tripled 239% growth no in, in, in 2023 and then other companies like microsoft who is um who boosted its investment in chat in the chat gpt developer open ai who also integrated ai across its products and services so yung mga gumagamit ng microsoft 365 dito yung mga nakikinig dito more and more ai will become part of that experience no you will see ai more in excel in word in powerpoint um and then that will bring in more revenues for microsoft no and then amazon uh, invested also a lot in, a, in in an ai firm so and they have incorporated ai across their popular cloud uh, computing platform called aws no so yung mga involved dito sa uh, sa sa it you know what aws and is and it's going to uh, it's going to be boosted by AI and customers are going to be demanding more services. So the stock price of Microsoft and Amazon also jumped in 2023. No? And we firmly believe that AI is not another dot-com bubble. It's not a short-term win. We firmly believe that AI will bring more uh, definitive, uh, stable revenues for companies, uh, more efficiency, less costs, uh, better customer experience. So all of this will really help companies. And that's why there's a boom in tech right now. So in fact, FMSEC will, uh, if you look at FMSEC's platform, you will see there that the best performing UITF that they have is our technology fund. No? Uh, gave 50% income uh, for our customers last year. No? For, the, for just for 2023, customers who invested money earned around 50% for the whole year of 2023. Again, this is another trend that you should be exploring. This is a trend that you can't experience if you just invest in Philippine stocks. It's going to be hard for you to get this exposure to the AI story just by investing in the Philippines. So another reason why you should diversify. So I hope that answers my question. Some ideas lang naman yan. There are other ideas out there. Just learn more of these uh, new trends. Thank you so much, Sir Zed. No, I think some of the questions are uh, medyo connected doon sa trend, Sir. So maybe we'll answer that later. No? I think sure. yung mga AI is really um, relatable na on usually most since we are using technology such as Amazon. All right? Uh, on to the next question naman. So panahon ngayon, Sir, no? Um, I think most of us are doing things na medyo less hassle and also make things easier, especially um through online banking. No? So in terms of investing, sir, why do we need to automate or is it good to automate in terms of investing talaga? Yep. So um, that's a great question. So let's go to, before I answer that question, let's imagine three investors. Uh, so let's go to the next slide. So you can see here, one investor is a market timer, no? Ayaw niya ng automated yung investment na. Gusto niya nag analyze siya, no? Um, let's call him Tony Stark. And then the second investor si Steve Rogers. He's a, an automator, no? He's a cost averager. I'm going ahead, no? Um, when you automate your investing, you're basically applying that the strategy of cost averaging. So he's practical. He's a... Um, Ot, um, uh, ayaw niya yung nag-iisip pa. Basta mag-invest na lang siya every start of the month. I don't care about the price. Um, si, si Tony Stark, the previous one, he analyzes first and then he de he decides uh, whether I'm going to invest now or tomorrow. Basta once a, during the month, mag-iisip siya kung kailan siya mag-invest. And then the last investor, si Stephen Strange, the wizard, um, knows what day in the month is the lowest price. So dun siya mag-invest. So assuming they are the same, they have the same strategies, assuming they want to invest in American growth, yung sikat namin na US equity strategy, uh, for for 15 months and then gusto nila mag-invest ng 10,000 pesos. Sabihin natin si Tony Stark, bigyan na natin siya ng 50% success rate. 50% of the time, nakukuha niya lowest price, pero 50% of the time, mala siya, nakukuha niya highest price. Okay? And then si Steve Rogers, wala siyang pakailam, just invests start of the first calendar day or first, first business day of the month, nag-invest siya. And then Stephen, obviously, will have a 100% success rate because he's a wizard. No, He knows when is the lowest price of the month. Nakukuha niya. Hindi niya natachamba. He knows. He has, he's a wizard. So who do you think among the three will earn money, number one? Or if they if they all will earn money, who will, who do you think will earn the most? And who do you think will earn the least? No, So uh, can we see yeah, one for Tony Stark, two for Steve Rogers, and three for Stephen Strange? Can we see some answers? 
one, two, or three. Okay, may nag two, may nag three. Yung best, no? Yung best. Ang tinatang ko dito, yung best, no? Sige, three. Sige. B three because magic talaga. <laughs> Tama. Sige, sige. So, let's go to the next slide. Let's uh, let's see the the correct answer. Marami nag two, no? Wala. Okay. So, surprisingly, all both all of the all of the three earned money, no? So, again, um, lesson, no matter what your strategy is, if you are investing properly, and the fund is performing, you will earn money, no? So they all they all earn money, no? Twenty nine thousand for Tony, thirty two thousand for Steve, and thirty five thousand for Stephen. However, Tony was the busiest of the three, no? Si Tony nagaanalyze siya, nagbublumberg siya, nag nag nagano siya, naga nito um nagcharting siya, hinahanap niya yung bottoms, nagahanap siya ng signals, ganon. Si Stephen, caga si Steve. Wala silang ginagawa, 'di ba? Si Stephen just looks at his crystal ball. Si Steve naman, wala. Basta nakita niya yung first day, first first business day of the of the month, nag-invest siya, no? So, what's but, but however, tama yung sagot niyo. Obviously, Stephen will have the best return, no? Kasi nga may crystal ball siya, eh. he will have he grew, he had the best return, 23% yung gains niya, no? However, mapapansin mo rin dito, Steve had zero analysis, spent zero time researching, and yet earned more than Tony who was the busiest. And he was almost as successful as a fictional person because Stephen. La sabi nga nung sa mga gut kanina, magic yun. Hindi naman totoo yun ni, di ba? Hindi mangyari yung hundred percent of the time. Matatamaan mo yung lowest price. So that's the lesson here. This is why I like discipline, um, investing more than actually a market timer because you will exert the minimal f a minimal effort and you will be better than than a person who exert a lot of effort. No? So on the next slide, and that's what we call cost averaging. So cost averaging, it is a proven investment technique that works. By the way, yung pinakita ko yung table sa inyo kanina, that's based on actual prices. No? Hindi ako nag-invento. No? It, it is simply investing in a month regularly, monthly or bi-monthly, pwede naman, via discipline program. And it works. Why? It's because it's an emotional. It's discipline. Walang emotion involved, no. Um, you you prevent the common pitfalls of invest, uh, of being too scared when markets are volatile, or being too greedy when markets are 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 uh, going up, no. Parang masama yon, being too scared and being too greed, too greedy, and you avoid both of them. And then when markets are volatile, this gives you obviously the ability to buy things at low prices, no. Because because that means your average cost will go down. Hence, actually, you know, they learn about cost averaging and talks sa kanya because your average cost goes down no so um uh so on the next slide this is basically how it looks like how cost average looks like no so the green bar is the prices no of a, of a volatile uh, asset no and then by buying just every month nakikita mo every time the prices are down you are buying more units no so for example yung medyo na sa gitna diyan na, na part no naputol kasi yung year no so nakikita mo na mataas yung blue bar when the green when the green price is down so this is how cost averaging works so it really helps you buy more units when there's volatility and ako para sa akin na pinaka important dito is discipline because like i said earlier if you don't do cost averaging if you, if you don't automate your investment you are susceptible to one forgetting about it tas makakalit mapapansin mo na lang ay lumapas na yung buwan hindi ako nakapag-invest and two temptations no if you don't have an automated investment strategy magkaroon ng sale sa you know sa SM or wherever you go ma, 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 magagastos mo yung pera mo hindi ka makakapag-invest no so that's some uh, that's something that can really hurt your financial goals particularly if you're that type of person so maganda i-discipline mo na yung sarili mo Go to FM Sex VIP program or voluntary investment program. Have that automated, and then ni mo na siya magagastos. Hindi mo na rin siya makakalimutan. And you're taking your and you're taking advantage of the cost averaging strategy. So hopefully that answers the question. Thank you, sir. That actually we have a voluntary investment program um that encourages disciplined investing. No, so if you are interested, um later I will talk more about that. Okay. In terms of the uh, money life investments, no, no, since Sir Z wants us to improve our financial investing and also literacy, can you start to us uh, showing us more about your funds performed in 2023, sir? Great question. So, 2023, uh, if you invested in offshore strategies in 2020, last 2023, chances are you did well, you're happy. I mean, particularly if you compare yourselves to 
uh, those who only invested in the Philippines. No, um, unfortunately, that was the story last year. Uh, the Philippines was still having trouble with high inflation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, but but other countries were already enjoying growth because uh, inflation had already moderate. Now for some countries, no, uh, yeah, particularly the U.S., uh, there was excitement already with technology, and unfortunately, wala namang AI firms sa Pilipinas, so walang walang makikinabang na, you know, strongly like Nvidia or Microsoft or Amazon dun sa AI story sa Philippines. So, dalo, so two things na hindi tayo naka, na hindi tayo na damay ang Philippines was the excitement of inflation moderating and and the excitement over AI. So na iwan tayo. So other countries have really. Uh, uh, have really earned um, ano, uh, more, you know, or or if you were investing offshore, you really did well. So on that on that slide, on that note, on that on the next slide, you will see here some of the performances of our funds. No? So in FMSEC, kasi you can also invest in dollars. No, so that's one 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 great thing about FMSEC. So uh, our funds that are available on the FMSEC platform. Uh, you can either invest in pesos or dollars. No, you don't have to convert your money wherever you are already right now. You can invest as that. No, uh, so for example, global tech, like I said, taking advantage of the excitement over AI, uh, our customers earned uh, fifty, almost fifty, fifty percent for those who are invested in the dollar share class, but those who invested in the peso share class for almost forty nine percent. No, clean energy is something that. Also, will benefits no kasi equity strategy to as global equity strategy. So similarly, makikinabang siya dun sa excitement over the uh, inflation moderating and the expected rate cuts this year. So nakinabang din to. Um, so imagine you're investing in companies that are um, you know um, already deemed to be positive for the environment, for the for society and for governance no ESG, um, environment, society and government governance no so. Your you you earned twenty three percent uh or twenty two percent in the pressure class uh in last year not bad but at the same time you have that good feeling na alam mo yung pera mo na punta sa mga companies that are contributing positively to the planet di ba okay yun di ba uh and then American growth U S equities to no so um invested only in U S companies no companies like uh, Microsoft uh Apple Amazon uh Alphabet who earns Google di ba uh and uh, and other uh, US companies though you earn 32% um more or less 31 to 32% depending on the currency last year global thematic opportunities these are global equities also did well no uh, again take uh, benefiting from from moderating inflation and at the same time excitement over tech kasi global company to no so merong mga tech companies diyan so all 22% 21% and then asia not as not as good no as global companies but also at least positive siya then global dynamic leaders ito yung fund namin na na best companies in the world so hindi siya umabot ng 20% kasi na launch naman to uh, i think uh, January hindi siya na launch ng i mean hindi siya existing before the year started no so uh, what you see here is actually not a full year performance but look, still good 17% you're not gonna um you're not gonna be disappointed there and then dragon growth this is the only uh, area where we really uh where last year was really not that good no um uh because uh chinese equities uh, struggled a little bit a little bit last year um uh so around lost naman to ng around 17 to 18% um, then other strategies are positive. India equity, I'd like to, to note, there is still excitement over India over the Indian economy. So we have a strategy that only invests in Indian stocks, though Indian companies also did well, 22% um, or almost 23%. And then stocks in the healthcare industry. And then our income paying strategy, the global multi-asset and the global preferred, these are total returns. No? So yung pinakita ko kanina na, na 5%, for example, na kinita ni Jimadi, uh, global multi asset diversified income meron ka pang 5% sa price return kaya ang total return niya is 10.6%. So binigyan ka na namin ng 5% na nagamit mo kung ano man. By the way, when we pay out income, bahala ka doon kung ano gusto mong gawin, pambili mo yun ng ng gamit or reinvest mo, to bahala doon, pwede mong gawin. Pero on top of the 5 point something percent that we gave out, you also earned another 5% on the price return. Umakyat kasi yung price. So ang total niyan is 10.61%, no? or 9.82% for the peso version. Um ganun din yung global preferred this paid out 6% or 5% then meron kang price return din. Um and then other uh strategies namin fixed income I think noteworthy here would be our money market fund. Um 
for for people who are too afraid of of um equities or or volatility or uncertainty ayo nang gusto nila medyo uh, uh, the least risky as possible so our customers who who were like that who were very conservative who were afraid of taking risk they invested in the money market fund uh, they were happy because they got 4.86 uh, net no 4.86 net is is uh, is a uh, it's not it's not 40 percent it's not 17 percent pero at least walang volatility dito nakakatulog ako na mahimbing the the whole year it was a straight line going up no walang masyadong down yan no unlike yung 50 percent ng global technology there were days na ma- malaki yung drops yan no but again it's up to you uh, you can buy both funds or all funds or a number of funds kasi mababa lang naman yung minimums no so um and FMSEC is very very friendly it's easy to invest uh the platform is very easy to use so you can really play around with uh with these funds no so i hope this you know gives you an idea of what potentially you can do uh by using um uh FMSEC platform and our funds no? so hopefully that answers the question that will improve your financial literacy thank you sir z no ayan uh he was able to share the performance no so on to the next one so much more code related no no pag-usapan natin yung financial decisions that our attendees could do based from those um performance na nasabi ni Sir Z so Sir Z for those investors who want to start now can you give us an idea of how one can apply diversification taking advantages of investment trends and cost average Sir Z yeah so yeah so i've i've mentioned a number of ideas uh um uh, t- tonight in, in in less than an hour so medyo mahirap i grasp grasp yon saka masy- baka masyadong complicated but let me reiterate that with uh FMSEC's intuitive platform and our very uh and our our array of products that have very low minimums you can really do it very quickly easily and quickly you know when you apply the start now resolution that i mentioned earlier so on the, on this on the next slide you will see here a typical recommended portfolio no hindi ko naman sinasabi na na ito yung pinakamagandang portfolio or ito yung portfolio na ginagamit ko obviously i uh, medyo aggressive ako na person i will will not have this portfolio kayo naman really depends some of you might be some some, some might, uh, of you might like this kasi kasi hindi siya masyadong aggressive some might some of you naman might not like this because you want something even less aggressive than this but this is just a some uh, just a picture of what you can do because of the very low minimum requirements and FundSmart's great platform no so for example you have 50,000 you can't decide what specifically to do so an idea would be like spread it around like 10,000 sa money market fund namin 10,000 sa Philippine bond fund namin, which we call income builder, 10,000 sa US equities namin, I mentioned earlier, which called American growth, and then 10,000 sa global tech um, company namin, no, uh, company fund namin, which we call global tech. no, And then the, the rest of the 10,000 play around with Philippine stocks. No? Para diversified ka, meron ka exposure sa Philippine stocks. So you, you like, for example, a certain stock no, na you know will do well. No? So be, maglagi ka rin doon. So uh, and then every month, take advantage of the VIP program of FMSEC and then add 4,000 a month, ganyan, something like that. So it can be, this can be something that you can consider. Again, it's very easy to do because of the low minimum requirements and the intuitive platform. The minimum requirement, by the way, is 1,000 pesos for uh, for our uh, peso share classes and $100 for our uh, dollar share classes. So very, very, very convenient for you to do. But this is just an idea if for a, if with somebody who has 15,000 pesos to spare and then 4,000 a month to spare. Okay. Hope that answers the question. Just an idea lang naman to. Ryan, thank you so much for Zed. No? Maybe um we'll have a quick break na lang muna for our speaker. Um, Sir Zed um, has shared a lot of information, especially on the performance and also emerging trends no? and also perspective in making 2024 worth it for uh, stepping up your handling. But before we move on to our Q and A, no, I think some of you have already put in sa ating button. We'll try to lace, uh, raise it later, na muna, no. So our speaker will have a, a quick breather, na muna. Okay. So at this time, I'd like to take this opportunity, to do a couple of things on behalf of First Metro Securities. So in terms of market education, you can also invite us for a free and exclusive tailor-made gamified learning program and also briefings for your company, school, organization, or 
clients. So Janice sent us an email at marketeducation at firstmetrosec.com.ph. Okay? Again, have um one account for all your investment needs no so about so sa mga na share ni sir if you're interested in pse stocks we also have real estate exchange traded funds and mutual funds such as yung mga mutual funds pfs na nabanggit ni sir under the manual life available po yun sa ating fund smart which you will have an access once you have an account with us we also have bonds government bonds and corporate bonds okay Ayan, sharing lang uno of our um recognitions and awards that we've uh, received for the past years. We'd like to dedicate those awards, especially to our partners, just like Manulife, and also our clients and all the employees. No, we received the uh, best stock house. We also have best online trading platform and more. At the same, so grateful to the Bureau of Treasury for recognizing our contribution of first to their pursuit of strengthening financial literacy and inclusion to the Filipinos around the globe. Again, so for the account opening guide, no, I'll be sharing with you a short video lang. So for this one, kindly disregard lang po yung 5,000 initial deposit. So right now, it's 1,000 pesos lang. So for faster processing of account opening application, please use the seminar code or event code Manulife para at least we can track those account openings na galing po kayo dito sa webinar. All right? Trading on the go? Here's first Metrosec Go for you. Easily open your account today with this app. You can download the first Metrosec Go app through Play Store or App Store for free. If you already have it on your device, simply open the app and click Sign Up Now. Next, you need to create a user ID, read and agree to the terms, and provide these information. Once you're done, click the link on the email verification set. Now, let's complete your account application. First, input your account information. Then, provide your user information. Next, accomplish the investor profile form. Almost there! Read and agree to the terms and conditions. Then click Agree. You will then receive your reference number through the app. Don't forget to save this number because you will need it for your initial deposit. Next, upload or take a photo of these requirements. One valid ID, three signatures and a piece of white paper, proof of address, and proof of bank account. If you're self-employed, there are additional requirements. Now let's fund your account. You can make your initial deposit through bills payment, online fund transfer, over-the-counter deposit, or remittance. The minimum 5,000 pesos or 100 US dollars can be used to invest in stocks, funds, and bonds. There is no maintaining balance required. Next, you will need to verify your identity. Simply take a photo of your ID, and take a selfie. For all set, an email confirmation will be sent to you in two to three business days. Happy trading! For more information, visit our help center at help.firstmetrosec.com.ph. The options and convenience within your reach through International Finance's best online broker and best online trading platform for four years in a row. With First Microsec, it's your future first. Again, 
and for feel free to connect with us our main website pala is www.firstmetrosec.com.ph so if check out kung ano yung first metro securities our products and services and also meron po tayong mga guide doon. Alright? So, in terms of market outlook or even mga webinars natin and announcements, no, feel free to follow po yung ating social media channels. Just search the handle at First Metrosec. Yun po yung ating social media channel. For our existing naman na clients, no, for account requests, updates, access concerns, just email po customer service at firstmetrosec.com.ph Okay? Ayan. So at this juncture, no, I once again call our speakers, Sir Zed, as we accommodate any questions that our attendees may have. Again, no, simply write them down in the designated Q&A section of the platform to get through as many as we can. So for those who won't um able to make the cut no, because of the time constraints, we'll try to answer them offline. All right? Ayan. So meron tayong mga questions. We'll try to... um. Raise the first question, okay? Yeah, so for your first question, Sir Z, no, I think this is connected to the trends. Uh, maybe a short um summary na lang are the emerging investment trends. Short summary of of, em of uh, emerging market trends, no? Yes, sir. Um, uh, sige, um, I, nasabi ko na yung technology, uh, so look at that. I also talked about uh, ah hindi ko masyadong na, na nasabi yung ang ano yung about yung uh, ESG investing no um so this is a trend that is happening worldwide no um there is some attraction here because people are becoming more responsible or more conscious about climate change about um uh companies that are that are honest no walang violations or company na or walang penalties or are doing uh, or helping the communities where they are in no not not you know not not being abusive of employees in the community where they are no so nagiging importante ni ESG so um i don't know if there's a framework already in the philippines na what ESG investing is about but there are funds already here that claim you know that they that their um uh that the funds that, that that they offer are satisfying certain requirements for them to be called ESG funds. So if you research more, uh, met there is a EU standard uh on 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 ESG investing, for example, and they they will brand a fund Article Nine and downwards. No, Article Nine being the highest uh, uh level, meaning the it's really an ESG fund. No. Uh, article 8 naman a little bit lower than article 9 meaning uh they have esg val uh, um parameters in their fund management no but it, it's still not yet you know not really uh, an esg fund per se no so may mga ganun. so if you look at try to research um uh, uh, on that and and we have one article 9 fund no ibig sabihin the highest rating that the eu can give to a fund it's called the clean energy fund the one that earned 20% last year so yon it's only invested in uh, companies that satisfy these requirements no they uh, they uh, you know obviously it's a clean energy fund so therefore they will only invest in the in the supply chain of of those involved in clean energy you know solar wind uh, um uh and then uh electric vehicles yan uh, smart buildings yon so yun yung mga ideas na pwedeng yung puntahan so another trend so that's the second you know, another trend is um um REITs no offshore REITs tingnan niyo rin yon uh, i mentioned that also already um ano pa ba um meron kaming fund na covers 13 themes yung global techno uh, global thematic opportunities that i showed earlier I think it also earned a relatively high double digit return last year also. Ito naman um invests in many themes no. Uh actually 13 themes na hindi ko kabisado no. One of them is water, another is premium brand no. Um uh water meaning companies that are 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 involved in making sure that water is clean, uh providing clean water to communities they also do well. Uh, second is um another theme would be uh human theme. No, some companies are taking advantage of the fact that people are more uh are looking for more human connection. So companies like uh, Match.com they own uh forty dating sites globally and they're doing well as well. So merong kang exposure sa 
So match.com they own Tinder, they own uh, um other dating sites no. They're also doing well because nakikita natin yung trend trend na people are becoming busy and although it might not be happening in the Philippines yet but uh globally more and more marriages are happening because of dating sites no? because of the fact that people are too busy. You know, so so yon human theme ang tawag naman doon. And then there are other themes like um uh the ai obviously the ai teams there and then uh, um uh, so learn more about these things and cert and and we believe that companies that are in these teams will have a long runway of growth no just because they are the the the, the next big thing no? the, the the things that will change our lives in the future meron din yan applications sa uh, investments no so marami pa no and and i can't really um you know uh you know right now tell you everything no? but but you can do your research and you look look at our funds no that are taking advantages of this you know for the long run no? of these teams no again so um next question would be for fund smart for the fund smart fees naman po you can invest without um sales load and transaction fees as these costs are not passed sa ating investors but rather paid by for the third question naman sir um this is more on the money life um UITFs now what is your favorite money life UITF <laughs> money life global uh, technology equity and money life china equity fund good investments sige so uh, medyo per ano medyo personal yung question na yun no? again yes. it will depend on you but um, I'm not very young, but I'm still very aggressive in my investment. So I really, I really like the AI story. So um, uh, meron akong exposure doon. Definitely, you should look at that. I also like um, uh, U.S. equities. No, um, the the it's a really resilient economy. Uh, uh even with volatility, they uh, um, uh, they are doing well. Specifically because of um. Because these are big brands, no. Uh, if there's they they can withstand inflation. Like for example, when inflation is high, some companies suffer because babawas bababa yung demand of for their goods dahil nagtitipid yung mga tao. But unfortunately, but fortunately for U.S. companies, because of their you know because these are prime brands, no, you still you will still buy the next iPhone. Um. Uh. Um. You will still you know these are strong brands na. You know that you will still use Google. You will still you will still use uh, Microsoft. So these are brands that are 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 that have some level of uh, protection from from market movements, no, na negative, no. So um, just because of their sheer size and their the, the how diverse their revenues uh, are, no, because they don't earn just from U.S. customers, but they earn from glo globally, no. So. Um, so I also like American growth because of that. No, Tsaka at least yung American growth hindi lang sa sa tech na ka expose, no. Uh, largely tech pa rin, malaki pa rin ang tech ng ng sector ng US, pero at least you have exposure to other sectors and not just tech, no. Um, Jimadi is something that I like as well, yung global multi asset diversified income namin because it provides income, tas diverse yung sources of income niya, no? It gets income from from REITs, from preferred shares, from from um from fixed income, from equities, you name it, it gets income, and then it's it tries its best to generate income, uh, every month, no. So, uh, it sorts of uh lessens the volatility of because of the fact that it uh, it generates income every month. So, nakita niyo naman sa slide na pinakita ko every month nakapa nakakabigay siya ng income, no. Last year, no. Uh, and then you have that potential pa for price return. Kaya kaya ten percent yung kinita niya last year totally, no. Uh, 5% from dividends and around 5% from price return no so so um yun yung mga ganung yun yung mga favorites ko pero not necessarily na you should follow what i have no you, you might be very conservative right now you're just starting up ayo mo munang you know you're trying to get your feet wet then the money market fund will be an easy decision for you it's a no brainer for you you can go there kasi it's virtually um virtually very little volatility yan so uh yan yung magbibigay sa ng mga ng ng return na uh, decent not very high pero at least you have the peace of mind na hindi mo to pinag-isipan nag-invest ka lang blindly um alam mo na there's really very little chance of volatility and for you to be to be scared no yun yun mga favorite yun yung mga pwedeng isipin na strategies
Thank you, Sir Zed. No, um, one question is for the first Metro Securities. No, what is first Metro Securities VIP? So, sabi nga ni Sir kaniyo past cost averaging. No, you can do it sa VIP or tinatawag natin a voluntary investment program where you can save um time and effort actually no in growing your portfolio by um automatically investing in mutual funds through VIP. So what you would do no is first to open an account if wala pa po kayong account and the same time first is to invest what you decide how much and second is how frequent so maybe once or twice a month and then third is where to invest meaning pipili po kayo ng mga mutual funds uh, that you can invest on those no without um any at least dapat comfortable kayo dapat to invest in those things. So just find your account and also the amount will be automatically deducted from your buying power. Doon po sa chosen uh, debit date. No? So whether it is a 15th day, 13th day of the month. Okay? So next question, um, Sir Z, no, in, uh, would investing in alternate technology hardware producing company, example, AMD, Intel, TSMC, also a good option yeah so yeah if again these are companies that will definitely benefit from uh, uh, from ai no i heard uh, tsmc uh showed their um uh, uh, recent uh, revenue projections uh, to be uh, very impressive no so tumaas yung stock price din tsmc for those who are not aware is a Taiwan semiconductor. It's the biggest foundry in the world of chips, no. So um, uh, it, it's 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 based in Taiwan, no. The company is based in Taiwan. So uh, um, and other, there are also a, I think AMD is also going to do well. Intel is also going to do well because of the demand for these uh, products, no. So un unfortunately, it's hard to access these stocks uh, um, in the Philippines, no. I don't know if you can do that. No, you you have to find a foreign broker to do that. But in, you can you can get exposure from from these companies to our funds. No, so I think TSMC is in our Asia uh, uh, best select fund. Uh, it's uh, um, it's probably in our global tech fund as well. And di ko lang alam nasan siya doon. Probably nasa top ten siya. Uh, and AMD and Intel, uh, I'm not sure whether in, they're in our global tech fund or an American growth fund. But again, these companies. Are are great companies to look into, no? So they're they they did not triple their stock price like Nvidia did last year, no? But definitely, the global tech fund namin na invest in Nvidia, sa Microsoft, sa kasama Amazon, no? And and nakabenefit yon. Kaya kaya ka nagkaroon ng fifty percent return, kasi nga you had some money in a stock that earned three two hundred percent, no? So like like Nvidia, so yon. Uh, it's a way for you to get exposure from these tech companies, hardware or software. Uh, by looking at our funds and see if they're in the top ten, yung yung funds namin. By the way, we are we divulge the top ten. Ano, uh, so you can look at the F FM Sex platform. Uh, click information there. Makikita niyo yung uh, kids key information and investment disclosure statements. No, it's called kids. Click, download dun yung yon. Makikita niyo dun yung top ten holdings. So makikita niyo dun if nandun yung yung Nvidia, yung uh, Microsoft, sa yung, yung Amazon and other companies, no? makikita nyo doon. Um, and you can see, you know, uh, how we take advantage of, you know, these companies uh, uh, long runway for growth because of technology. Thank you, Sir Z. So as you can see in the chat box, um, a lot of our attendees are giving some of their chats. No, for example, I have Manual Life is doing. Um, very well. Um, congratulations, Miss Gian. No, congratulations. Also, we also have many uh chats regarding that. No, maybe last question, for Sir Z. Um, in terms mm -hmm. of diversification, naman po, Sir, how effective ang saying na not putting all your egg in one basket? Yeah. So, like I said earlier, that's us. Uh, a simple way to explain diversification to uh to a layman. No, because obviously. Yung complicated way of explaining diversification is modern portfolio th theory by Harry Markowitz. Yung sinabi ko kanina na, na nanalo siya ng Nobel Prize. It will you will when you see the explanation, it's gonna be heavy with maths. Um, uh, mga ano don standard deviation uh, uh, and and statistical analysis. No, so it's it's gonna bore you, uh, but it works. No, and sometimes yun yung yun yung para to help it uh, to to help you explain it without using 
uh, complicated maths and statistical analysis. Just it's just to say, don't put all your all your eggs in one basket because it makes sense, de ba? Because if isang basket lang mahulog yan, basag lahat, de ba? But but let's not also forget correlation. Meaning, make sure your baskets are behaving differently. Kasi kahit sampung basket yan, pero sabay-sabay sila bumabagsa, di sabay-sabay sila, rin sila mababasag. Yun yung example na pinakita ko kanina na two baskets, Philippine bond and Philippine equity, kala mo, oy, diversified na ako, I had two baskets. Hindi pala. Kasi for the past two years, they were behaving very similarly. When one was losing money, the other was also losing money. Di ba? So, may caveat. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Put them in different baskets. But also make sure the baskets behave differently. Oh, yun yung yun yung idadagdag mo lang doon because that's true diversification. Ah, uh, yan yung na-discover ni Harry Markowitz when he when he created that modern portfolio theory. So, you know, find ways like like investing in Philippine stocks pero nagii-invest ka rin sa US equities. Tapos nagii-invest ka rin sa Philippine bonds. Tapos may money market ka rin. So, this will behave very differently, no? Ah, uh, because uh, a bad, you know, a, a bad thing that happens in the Philippines a uh, US company will not care about that, diba? Like for example, mataas ang inflation sa Philippines, why will Apple care about that? Why will Microsoft care about that? It will not affect them. And vice versa, pwede ring baliktad yung mangyari. Uh, sa US merong bad news, if you have Philippine stocks, why will, you know, may, hindi siya masyadong affected, no? And that will really help your portfolio because some of your funds or stocks will probably be losers, but some will be winners, no? So, that will really help you no so it doesn't you don't need a nobel prize to 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 realize that diba hindi naman sa rocket science it makes sense even if you don't know you know the the standard deviation and the correlation ideas it just makes sense na diversification really works as long as you are sure that the baskets behave differently thank you so much sir z no i see the last question um, since uh, medyo lampas na tayo ng konti sa oras, pero some of the questions actually will talk, will take note of that and will try to offline. All right, so that sums up our Q and A portion. Thank you so much for everyone who raised the questions, who attended this webinar, and of course, thank you very much, speaker. We have Sir Zed for gamingly answering that. All right, so before we approach the end of the webinar, no, I'd like to plug in our January webinars. Now, for those na hindi pa po namin, um, a future no for the January, January 25 na ngayon. So lastly, yung session natin is best part 3. So hopefully, nakaten kayo ng best part 1 and 2. So the best part 3, same pa rin si Serge uh, Billiones pa rin yung magkakandak. So anyways, you can register at the bit.ly slash FMS dash Jan 2024. For our immediate courses as well, no, if to take more lessons on the art of trading, we have GIFT, Guided Investor Fearless Trader. The classes would start February 6. So anyways, this is exclusive paid to get to know more about um, the fees. You can check out sa ating bit.ly slash FMS dash GIFT 2024. So the session would be conducted by our consultant, Sir Aaron Sai. Okay. Ayan. So for this one, to our attendees, we also value your feedback. No? So you can share your thoughts and experiences with us by scanning the QR code that's flashing on your screen and answer our feedback form. A link will also be provided by the moderator. So your input is essential in helping us improve our services, even our webinars no, to better meet your needs. At the same time, we appreciate your contribution and look forward to implementing those positive changes sa ating questions as well. No? So while you are answering our feedback form and also survey, may we request some parting words na lang po, Sir Z, for our attendees. Um. Yeah, so thank you uh, to all the att attendees. Thank you for taking your uh, Thursday evening with us, spending your th Thursday evening with us. I hope you learn a lot. I hope you, at the end of the day, what we want to happen here is you have more information uh, to uh, that will equip you to make great financial decisions uh, moving forward. So happy new year. I hope you have a great investing year this year. And please... Uh, Use first Metrosec and and Manulife as your tool to achieve your financial goals this year. 
Thank you, Sir Zed. No, so there you have it. Once again, on behalf of First Metro Securities Brokerage Corporation, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Manulife Investment Management for gracing us with their time and present so it is a truly an evening well spent with our attendees no so thank you also to everyone who attended tonight we sincerely hope uh, uh, learned a lot no especially that this insight and lessons from zero z will make your investment journey especially more profitable and also medyo fun fun no and enjoyable so we hope to see you again in our future learning events because over here at first Med we put your future first. So have a great evening, everyone. Keep safe. Tara, your host, and also Andre, our chat moderator, together with Sir Zed, our speaker. Keep safe for everyone. And happy dinner for those hindi pa po nakakain. Thank you. Bye-bye.